Hello, welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at. I am excited about today's episode. Uh, I received a fantastic surprise in the mail recently, and I can't wait to share it with you. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I received uh, this envelope. As you can see, it came uh, to my new P.O. Box, P.O. Box 202, Thorpe, Wisconsin, 54771. Uh, in the USA. It has been decorated uh, with some lovely stamps and a uh, Canadian flag. Uh, so that tells you that this is from Canada. Uh, in fact, this comes from Terry. Uh, you might know Terry. Uh, she has a YouTube channel, which is Today's Snail Mail. Uh, so when you get done viewing this video, uh, go check out Today's Snail Mail uh, here on YouTube. Uh, Terry has lots of great content about stamps and post crossing. I think you're really going to enjoy her videos. Uh, so give her a like and a subscribe and, uh, and support her channel. So let's uh, dive into everything that Terry has sent me. She has sent me quite a lot. Uh, first, she sent me a few postcards. Uh, this is the first postcard of uh, some Canadian geese. And uh, she writes that, uh, she thought she would send me some items from Canada. Thought I would like them, including the stamps. I love the stamps, Terry. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And um, so a great postcard that she sent me here. And then she sent me a few postcards that aren't written on. Uh, there is this postcard. This is of uh, Hampton Court Palace. Uh, the lovely garden there. And it has uh, not been written, so I can either keep it for my collection or send it out. Uh, into the world through post crossing uh, and we'll see which one happens uh, if I find the right person who I think would like this card I will certainly pass it along uh, to them next she has sent me this wonderful giraffe postcard uh, giraffes uh, of course one of my favorite animals uh, next to sheep and, and tortoises and so uh, a very lovely image uh, it'll be a hard uh, decision for me to send this off into the world uh, but if I find someone who loves drafts as much as me, um, I will certainly do that and, and let it take another journey. And then Terry has included this. It says, Greetings from Ontario uh, with another wonderful giraffe. And if I read Terry's card right, she actually uh, took this picture uh, while she was visiting a zoo and then had a postcard made out of it. Uh, so really nice. And, uh, and I really enjoy it. So thank you very much for that as well. And uh, then what I thought was really, really neat is uh, Terry has sent me these booklets. Uh, if you live in Canada, you might be uh, familiar with these. Uh, I was not. Uh, the booklet is, uh, is titled Details, uh, Your Source for New Canadian Stamps. Uh, this one here... Uh, is from October, November 2022. It shows uh, some lovely wintertime stamps that uh, have been released by Canada Post. And when you open it up, it is just full of information uh, about all the new stamp issues that have recently been issued or about to be issued uh, from Canada Post and uh, gives you information uh, about each stamp. I really like these. These are the uh, the new Christmas stamps, and uh, and these are the new Hanukkah stamps. I really like both of those stamps uh, very much. And so these are a great resource. Uh, this side is uh, in English. This side is in French. I took uh, three years of French in school. Unfortunately, I do not remember um, most of it. Uh, but maybe I'll uh, I'll try to read the French side and see if uh, anything comes back to memory. So thank you so much, Terry, for these. I'm really going to, uh, to enjoy reading through them all. I've enjoyed what I've read uh, thus far. Some great information uh, about Canada Post and about the, uh, the stamps that they're issuing. Uh, and there's some really great stamps coming out. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Speaking of stamps, uh, Terry has included uh, some stamps in her uh, package that she sent to me. And they've come in this wonderful envelope. Uh, the blue nose uh, stamp there on the picture from Canadian Post, and so I really, I really like this envelope uh, that the stamps come in. So thank you uh, for that. And then she has included this sheet of stamps. 
uh, fresh from the post office. I really like those, so thank you, Terry. And then she sent uh, this glassine envelope that is full of stamps. I'm going to start uh, putting the stamps up here uh, above me so you can see them. Uh, but these are bugs and insects. Uh, they range in value from, uh, from one cent, I believe, up to 25 cents. And uh, just a really lovely set of stamps. Um, they're very colorful. And, uh, and I really like them, as you can see here. Uh, they're quite gorgeous. And so uh, very pleased to, to have these and to receive these and to add them to my Canadian stamp collection. Uh, I have uh, a small collection of Canadian stamps. I'm not sure how many, uh, but not as big as some of the other countries I collect, like Great Britain, um, the United States, Israel. I collect the micro countries of Europe. Um, but uh, my Canadian collection is growing, and I find that the more Canadian stamps that I add to my collection, uh, the more that I am enjoying the stamps from Canada. Uh, I know Rob, that dad guy, uh, he does a great job of showing off uh, his father's uh, collection of Canadian stamps. And so as I watch his videos, I, I'm pointing out, uh, picking out stamps that I like and that I'd like to add to my collection. So, so thank you, Rob, for that. You're doing a great job. Uh, showing the uh, the stamps of Canada. So I'm excited about uh, my Canadian stamp collection growing. Uh, I think it's going to be something that I really enjoy uh, for years to come. And then Terry has sent me another packet of stamps, and I will begin to, uh, to put some photos up here beside me of these stamps. But let me just uh, try to show you. Uh, this is the first stamp, uh, three churches. I have a uh, a couple postcards with this image on, as well as this stamp. It is uh, one of my favorite Canadian stamps. And then let's see if I can just grab these with my with my stamp tongs. That stamp right there. And there's a wonderful stamp of the Queen. And there's another stamp. And I don't have time, forgive me, to, uh, to highlight each individual stamp and to give details. Uh, but I really, really like uh, all these stamps. They will be a, uh, a wonderful addition uh, to my collection. I can't wait to get them uh, get some cataloged and get them into, uh, into my Canadian Canadian album really really like this stamp right here it's a great stamp and then Terry has included a few Christmas stamps there was that one of Santa and his reindeer uh, getting ready to deliver packages on Christmas Eve and then this stamp right here of a wonderful snowman and then I thought I would pick out uh, just a couple stamps and, and highlight them for you. A couple that really stuck out to me. And so the first stamp uh, is this one. I'll put the image up uh, right here also uh, of the stamp. This stamp is uh, Scott number 277. It was issued on October 10th of 1948. It has a value of uh, four Canadian cents. It was issued uh, for the centenary of responsible government. Responsible government written in English and in French on either side of the stamp. And uh, featured on, uh, on this wonderful stamp are Queen Victoria. Uh, the Parliament building you can see there. And also King George the Sixth. So I think this is just a, a really beautiful stamp. The the copy that uh, Terry has sent me is very crisp. Uh, it is in mint condition, and uh, it is going to be a fantastic addition to my collection. And I'm really excited about it. So thank you so much, Terry. Uh, the next stamp I wanted to talk about is uh, this stamp right here. Once again, I'll throw the image up beside it. This is Scott number 399. Uh, it was issued on October the 22nd of 1962. 
Uh, it has a value of five Canadian cents, uh, and it was uh, issued for the uh, centenary of Victoria, British Columbia. Uh, and what is interesting about this stamp is in the center of the stamp, uh, it features an image of another stamp. And so I'll throw the image uh, from the center up right here. And this is a stamp of uh, British Columbia and Vancouver Island. It is a two and a half D stamp uh, that was issued in 1860. Uh, and then at the top of our stamp, you see uh, the British Columbia Parliament building. So a beautiful stamp, a wonderful condition. Uh, and I'm really, really, once again, excited about it and adding it to my collection. So, again, thank you, Terry, uh, very much. There are two more stamps that I would like to, to speak to you about. And uh, they're these two right here. They're the stamps that Terry used to mail these. I think these are fabulous stamps. Uh, they are large, um, large stamps. This is the, uh, the stamp we were just talking about. So you see, uh, you see it compared to these other stamps. Uh, these are really large stamps. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about the moose stamp first. It is uh, it is a definitive stamp. Uh, this definitive series features a Canadian fauna. Uh, this particular stamp is Scott number sixteen ninety three. It was issued on December the 12th, 2003, and it has a value of five Canadian dollars. Uh, I have a small collection of high value stamps, and when I say high value, what I really mean is things that are a dollar and above. I have a small collection of high value stamps. Uh, when I can find them, uh, I purchase them if I can. So a great addition. This is such a beautiful stamp. Uh, it features a, a wonderful Canadian moose. I like everything about this stamp. I like the subject matter. I like the background. I like the size of the stamp. Uh, maybe my favorite stamp that Terry sent me. She sent me a lot of great stamps, and I'm 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 thrilled uh, beyond belief with each and every one of them. But I really, really, really like this stamp, uh, and super excited to get it. So thank you, Terry. And uh, then next is the uh, this stamp. It features a white-tailed deer. Just a beautiful subject matter. It has a value of one Canadian dollar. I'll throw it up here as well. It was issued on October 20th, 2005. It is Scott number 1688. It is also a definitive stamp uh, for the definitive series of Canadian uh, fauna and uh, another beautiful stamp. Uh, I don't know if I will uh, keep uh, this envelope as a cover uh, and just keep it intact. And uh, I have some uh, some album pages that uh, that are just one pocket, and so I could easily put this uh, put this mailer in one pocket and keep this whole thing. Or if I will uh, will soak these stamps off and put them in an album uh, by themselves, um, yet to be determined. Uh, but whatever way I will be, uh, I'll be preserving these. Uh, so that is the video uh, for today. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Terry. A wonderful surprise. Uh, thrilled uh, beyond belief uh, to receive your generous, generous gift. So thank you very much. I uh, thank all of you for watching. Um, we are close to 200 subscribers on this channel, and I cannot believe it. We've only been doing this for a few months, and we're already, I think we're about five away last time I looked uh, from 200. Uh, so I remember when I was like, yay, 50 subscribers, and then we got to 100, and then I got to 150, and now we're almost to 200, and, and I'm just excited about that, uh, to, uh, that you're enjoying the content uh, that I'm providing for you. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel. Uh, thank you for all the, the postcards and the uh, Instagram messages of encouragement. Uh, they mean so much to me. If you haven't done so yet, please consider uh, subscribing to this channel, uh, sharing it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the like button and also leave me a comment. Uh, what was your uh, favorite part of this video? Uh, do you collect Canadian stamps? And if so, uh, share with me your favorite Canadian stamp. Uh, I'll be interested to hear about it. Uh, maybe it's one that I don't have in my collection, uh, but I'll want to add in the future. So thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.